welcome to today's vlog. So for today, I'm going to do a little bit of a Sunday reset and I'm just gonna clean and organize. I actually have some footage of when I reorganized my bookshelf. So before we get into all of that, I do have a quick word from today's sponsor. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. If you aren't familiar with Book of the Month, they are a popular and fast-growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and to help readers find books that they love. My favorite thing about Book of the Month is that their team vets hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles so you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Book of the Month is risk-free, so if none of these selections that month are your cup of tea, then you can skip that month and you won't be charged. They also have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. You can get your first book for just $9.99 with the code LEAVES. And my selection for this month is Love on the Brain by Allie Hazelwood. I have read The Love Hypothesis which is also by Allie Hazelwood, so I'm excited to read another book from her. This is a rom-com about a scientist who is forced to work on a project with her nemesis with explosive results. <laughs> My other selection is The Fortunes of Jaded Women. This follows the story of a family of Vietnamese women who have been cursed and they can only give birth to daughters. This is a multi-narrative and it is about mourning, meddling, celebrating, and healing together as a family. Thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. And now let's do some cleaning. so much better. I think I'm going to do some journaling um, because I love to do some journal prompts at the start of every week and I thought about doing some reading. I'm currently reading Lady Midnight but I think I'm going to save that for later tonight but yeah I think I'm just going to do some journaling for now. Okay so here are the journal. You know what? Wait, I feel like I should put some cozy ambiance on in the background. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so these are the five questions that I like to do for my Sunday reset. Um, I showed this in my last Sunday reset vlog, but I thought it'd be fun to answer it for this specific week. So the first question is, what are three things you are grateful for? Okay, three things. I'm gonna say um, YouTube. Uh, because I love it and it's such a great creative outlet um, our home and our cats <laughs> okay what helped you get closer to your goals last week how can you make this a habit um, something that helped me get closer to my goals was actually turning off my phone <laughs> because I was spending a lot of time on Instagram and also on TikTok or BookTok more specifically. Um, so yeah, I would turn off my phone and that way there was like way less distractions. 
So I think I could make that a habit and just at least leave my phone in the other room. I tried to do the time limit on the apps, but I felt like that wasn't enough to keep me off of my phone. I would just hit ignore and then I would just keep scrolling. So I think turning my phone off was like the best thing for me. What pushed you further from your goals last week and how can you avoid that this week? I think something that pushed me away from my goals was my lack of sleep schedule. I am such a night owl and I stay up so late and it's ridiculous. <laughs> and so if I could finally get a grip on my sleep schedule, then I feel like I would be so much more productive, especially in the morning. So how can I avoid that this week? Well. I, for one, need to go to bed earlier, so then I can wake up earlier. What habit do you want to focus on slash incorporate this week? I think I kind of just answered that, so I definitely want to focus on having a consistent sleep schedule. I also want to focus on doing a workout every morning um i don't want to make it like this big thing because i don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself but even if i just work out for like 15 minutes or go for a walk or ride my bike i feel like that would just be really good for me and really good for my mental health list three major goals for this coming week okay focus on my sleep schedule focus on working out and focus on productivity and spending less time on my phone. <laughs> okay, so that's my little Sunday reset routine. So now I have some footage of when I was reorganizing my bookshelf. Um, I have wanted to organize my books by color for a little while now, and I know it's kind of a big project, so I was kind of putting it off, but I finally did it, so. <laughs> and I will say, um, having my books organized by color is so satisfying. I'm so glad I did it. So I'm gonna insert the footage of me organizing right Right here okay so here is what my bookshelf looks like currently um, I kind of have it organized within each square so for example this one is nonfiction then I have rom-coms and this one's kind of random some of the squares are just wherever my books would fit but yeah so that's just kind of what it is right now and I had it organized by color in our old house but i haven't done it in this house since we got this new bookshelf so the first thing i'm gonna do is just take everything off and then sort all of the books into piles based off of their color i don't know where she came from kind of turned me upside down i just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me. It's so weird to see this bookshelf empty because I haven't seen it empty since we first bought it back in 2020. So um, it's definitely very strange. <laughs> and here are all of the books. I didn't realize just how many books that I owned until I saw them all on the floor in piles. <laughs> so this is going to probably take a while, but I'm really excited because the last time I had them organized by color, 
I had a very different book collection and I have so many new additions since then so it's going to look different than last time and yeah so I'm excited for the final result when you saw her in that dress when your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile then you've been in love that's how you know you've been in love T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, and you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Here's what it looks like so far, but I accidentally forgot about one of my green stacks, so I need to fit that in somewhere in here. I have Hugo here to help me out, and okay, so I ended up kind of fixing the green situation, but I don't know if this looks a little too empty and then i didn't know if this fit better in the green section or the blue section i think i'm just gonna try not to overthink it so <laughs> well i thought i was recording but i guess i wasn't so here's an update on the blue section i'm officially done with that i also love when the series are the same color so i can keep them together because it is that i feel like that's the biggest downside to organizing by color you do have to separate some series but it's a sacrifice i'm willing to make so <laughs> but yeah it is really nice when i can keep some of my series together like that collection of harry potter and then percy jackson to all the boys i loved before things like that so okay i keep finding books that i forgot to add to certain sections like i forgot to add these to the red and green sections so i'm gonna have to move some books around i also completely forgot about these and i forgot about these <laughs> okay so now i am going to give you an official tour of my bookshelf now that it's all completed <laughs> result and it's just so satisfying and I know I said before that you know when you organize by color you do have to separate some series but I feel like at least some of my series are still together so also pay no mind to the fact that I do not own clockwork prints <laughs> I also don't own the final book in the dark artifices series so those are two that i need to add but other than that it feels very complete and i'm just very very satisfied with it i've also added some funko pops to kind of go with the colors so i have this little ron weasley for the red section 
I have Newt Scamander for the gray section. This Funko Pop isn't really, you know, organized by color, but <laughs> I figured Taylor Swift would appreciate the cat Funko Pop. And this one also doesn't really go with the color, but I liked having the Emma Watson Funko Pop next to Little Women. And we have Fleur Delacour for the blue section. I think this looks so beautiful. I have my little green section and this just feels so Hufflepuff to me. <laughs> I have my Hermione Funko Pop and my teeny little tiny Crookshanks. <laughs> so yeah, that is an updated look at my bookshelf. And I was really hesitant to change up the organization, but I'm really glad I went for it. And I feel like now is the perfect time because I don't know, it just feels right to change it along with the changing seasons. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.